So let's look at another word problem for a finite geometric series. And I've recopied the formula here. So we have our sum of the series is equal to our starting term, a multiplied by one minus our common ratio, r raised to the nth power, where n is the number of terms, all divided by one minus r. So for this problem, Rosie went on a hiking trip. The first day she walked 18 kilometers. So that's our starting amount A. Each day since she walked 90% of what she walked the day before. So we'll take our starting amount and then multiply that by 90%. Remember 90%, that's just 90 divided by 100 or 0 0.9. So that is our common ratio here. That's what we'll be multiplying by to go from one term to the next. And what is the total distance Rosie has traveled by the end of the 10th day? So that's our number of terms. N is equal to 10 in this case. And we need to round our final answer to the nearest kilometer. So let's first just write out what this series looks like. And remember the first day she walks 18 kilometers. And then each day after will be 90% of the day before. So we'll take this starting amount of 18 for day two and multiply that by 90%, which again is just 0 0.9. And for the third day, we're going to take what she walked the day before and multiply that by 90%. So we'll take 18 times 0 0.9 and multiply it again by 0 0.9, or we can have 0 0.9 squared, and so on. The third, or the fourth day, we should say, will be 18 times 0 0.9 to the third power, and we need to go all the way to the 10th day, so that will be 18 multiplied by 0 0.9 to the ninth power, since, well, first of all, this is our sum here. Let me just make a bit more room to the left. And our term number, n, for day one, she walked 18. Day two, it was 90% of 18. Day three is, well, 18 times 0 0.9 squared, and so on. So notice that the exponent is always one less than whatever term we're on. So for the 10th term, the exponent will be one less than that, it'll be nine. Now this is what our sum actually looks like, but of course it's very difficult to add this up by hand. You can use a calculator, but it's fairly tedious. You have to add 10 different things. So we're just gonna apply the formula since we know what a, r, and n are. So a is 18, so we're just plugging that in here, and then we have one minus our common ratio, which is 0 0.9, all raised to the nth power, and n is the number of terms, that's 10 in this case. And then all divided by one minus that common ratio, which again is 0 0.9. So we can simplify this a little bit and then use the calculator so this will be 0.1, so you have 18 divided by 0 0.1, multiplied by 1 minus 0 0.9 to the 10th, and this is 18 divided by a 10th, or we're essentially multiplying by 10, so that's 180, multiplied by 1 minus 0 0.9 to the 10th power. And since raising 0 0.9 to the 10th power is fairly difficult, we can just use a calculator at this point. So when you plug this into your calculator, you get approximately 117.24 kilometers, but we want to round to the nearest kilometer. So that would just be 117 kilometers. So she roughly walked 117 kilometers, and that's what we'll put into our box here.